Our next guest uh, served 25 years as our nation's 102nd uh, Supreme Court Justice and made history as the first woman ever to hold that esteemed position. And this is her second children's book right here. It's entitled Finding Susie. Please welcome Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Thank you very much. Welcome to the program. And uh, I, I refer to you as Justice? Yes, that'll do. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I call you David? You can call me Dave, yeah. Okay. Dave is fine. Dave is All right. Fine. Uh, let, let's talk a bit about your uh, second children's book. Uh, what I like about this is uh, it comes from uh, your own experience as a, as a young girl. Is that well, right? Well, it does. I lived on a very remote cattle ranch in Arizona and New Mexico. Tell people how big the ranch is. Well, it was about 300 square miles, and we had, I had my parents and six or so cowboys to play with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... That's it a whole nother great. book right there. <laughs> That's We're not this talk one. talk about that. Yeah. But I did want, I rode horses a lot, and mm -hmm. they're not too cuddly. I mean, they're great to have and to ride, but I wanted a little pet that I could think, you know, was really of course. cuddly and yeah. mine. My mother didn't want one in the house, so I had to get an outdoor type. And I had different wild animal pets from the ranch area, like a little cottontail rabbit. And like, um, I, I tried to make a pet of a coyote, and you just can't do it. <laughs> and maybe the most successful wild animal pet was the bobcat. Mm -hmm. My father found it on a roundup, and it was a little baby, and he brought it home. We fed it hot milk with an eyedropper, and it grew. It was big. <laughs> And it was a darn good pet. It worked <laughs> fine for years, but he finally... <laughs> <laughs> what did you call the bobcat? Oh, it was a very imaginative name, Bob. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's Bob. It's Bob the bobcat. Yeah. But he was a great pet. And then finally he disappeared, and we were very sad. And then for a while, every night, one of the chickens in the hen house would disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and my father said, gee, I think I better stay up and check on this. Mm -hmm. And he did. And it was Bob who was yeah, coming well, yeah. in <laughs> a surprise nightly there, for really. a chicken dinner. Yeah, Bob would stop by. <laughs> and, like uh, going to KFC. So. <laughs> and this is you as a little girl. And that's yeah. your horse. Uh, Chico. Your, Chico. And I have a book out about Chico, too. He came out of a wild horse herd, and he was a great little horse. Now, when you get a horse out of a wild horse herd, yeah. what is the process to make them rideable? Well, the same as with any other horse. You have to work at it for a yeah. while. But You've heard of horse whispers? Yes. You need some good horse whispers. Yeah. And, but they're, they're terribly dangerous before they've been broken. Well, I mean, the term, they can right? throw you off. Yeah. But anyway, you, you get them gentle. And this one was fabulous. And when I fell off, he would just wait for me to get back on. That's unusual. Normally, they just once they... They go back to the barn <laughs> as fast right. as they can. <laughs> they don't want to wait around for anything. Right. Uh, now, it sounds to me um, idyllic. It sounds to me terribly romantic for a kid and your family to have literally the wide open spaces as your front and, and backyard. I, and you must have nothing but great memories about I growing did. up on it the It was fantastic. Yeah. And I assumed that when I grew up, I'd be a cow... You know, I'd be a rancher. Mm-hmm. And it didn't work out that way, did it? It worked out okay. I yeah, it worked yeah. out okay. <laughs> you don't need to be hard on yourself here. <laughs> but um, people, people who live on, on ranches and people who are successful at ranching, and ranching is very difficult, always been difficult, continues to be difficult, those people who are good at it and take to it are, are a certain kind of folk, don't you think? A certain kind of person. Well, they have to be people who can solve any problem and do anything. We didn't have a telephone, of course, or electricity. And if something broke, we had to fix it. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter if it was beautiful. It just had to work. That's right. And we saved all the baling wire and all the string and all the leftover lumber and everything. Mm -hmm. And we just tried to make do and Absolutely. make things work. Yeah, it was a necessity. It was yes. part of, of, of life, really. That's right. And there's always many, many things to do on a ranch. More you, than you can yeah, get around yeah. to. Uh, so at some point you decided uh, you were interested in law school? Well, yes, I had gone to college. Mm -hmm. And I went to Stanford and I took a class there from an undergraduate professor who was a law professor. And he was so inspiring, he was great. And because of him, I applied to law school. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you get out of law school, 
you thought, well, I'm, I'm here in the world, let, let me go out and, and see what sure, awaits me. Sure, I had done well, and we had all these notices on the placement bulletin board, Stanford Law graduates, call us, we want to talk to you. And I called them all, and they wouldn't talk to me. I had two X chromosomes. <laughs> they wouldn't have anything to do with it. Now, what, 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 are we talking, uh, what year, roughly? 1952. 1952. And none of those law firms had ever hired a woman lawyer, mm -hmm. and they weren't prepared to even talk to me. Yeah. You, you, you would think that a law firm might n know better, even in those days. <laughs> Well, you would. Well, one of them actually said, well, how do you type? And I said, so-so. <laughs> and the partner said, well, maybe, Miss Day, we could get you a job here as a legal secretary if you can type well enough. Oh, my goodness. But I thought I didn't want to do that, yeah. so I held off. And I did, my first job as a lawyer was in the county attorney's office of San Mateo County, California, and I had to explain to them, because they didn't have any money for a new deputy, I said, I'll work for you for nothing until you persuade them you need a little more. And they didn't have a space for me, and I said I'd put my desk in with the secretary if she was willing. So that was my first job, no pay, and I put my desk in with the secretary. Wow. And my letters in the historical museum yeah. in San Mateo County. <laughs> I mean, I mean, did you just from time to time later in life call those people up and laugh and just? <laughs> no. What people? What people? The, the old law firm. Oh. <laughs> no. Well, I'll tell you. I've made a, a number of speeches in my life, and the one I had the most fun with was the hundredth anniversary of the law firm that said they wouldn't hire women, but how did I type? So yeah. I talked at their 100th <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, on the... Uh, on, on the Supreme Court, did you have to do a lot of typing? Not a whole lot, actually. <laughs> I let the secretary do that. <laughs> When you, when you uh, in, in this position now, when you, you look at your time, uh, t 25 years uh, on the Supreme Court, what do you think? How, how does it feel to you? What, uh, some evolution there, some, uh, the job that you put in? What, what is your impression of things now, looking back 25 years? I think it's an incredible institution that we have. I think we're really fortunate in this country to have an entire branch of government that I think overall works pretty well. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's an impressive place to be. Yeah. It's, um, it's a living, it's an organism in, in yes. that it, it changes yes. daily and... and uh, well, not daily, but you have nine people who work really closely together and you change one and you, you don't just change a justice, you have a new court because mm -hmm. people work differently together. Right. And, and you, you, yourself, mm -hmm. a, a, a change in philosophy, ideology, or just personal thought uh, through the years? Or it's impossible to grow and, not, no, and, and be it's steadfast, just isn't that it? The court has to consider so many different issues over the years, thousands of issues, and nobody <laughs> at the start of that process could possibly say what they think mm -hmm. on all those issues. Mm -hmm. You learn over time, right. and I was still learning when I left. Yeah. Uh, are there any that you look back and think, ooh, well, we bungled this one? <laughs> Probably so. Yeah. I'm not going to mention gonna them share by them. name. <laughs> It must have been great, well, perhaps not. Speak for yourself. Uh, I would be concerned about great intimidation uh, the first day on, on the job after the appointment. What Was there for you or not? Yes. It, it was an overwhelming experience. And I was the last justice, I think, to be sworn in at the Supreme Court itself. And my parents were there, and President and Mrs. Reagan were there. We don't have cameras in the Supreme Court. So every... Uh, an, installation since has been at the White House with cameras and all that. So it was really special. Right. And when do you first meet your <clears throat> colleagues? And is there, is there fraternization with the colleagues? Do you, do you buddy up? Do you go out to dinner? Uh, do you... No, what you do is um, see a lot of each other because two weeks a month or, uh, you have oral arguments lasting a good many hours. You're with them. Then we have lunch together typically, on days of oral argument or conferences. Mm -hmm. So you see a lot of them. And there are all kinds of functions where we're all included. So uh, you see your colleagues mm -hmm. often. And, and is it uh, every session begins with the, the, the justices shaking hands? 
before we go on the bench, put on our robes, and then go in the conference room, and every justice shakes every other justice's mm -hmm. hand. And that's a fabulous custom, because it's hard to shake hands and then be hostile. Right. I mean, it's much harder. Right. Anyway, it's right. good. Could, could you, uh, were there people that gave you a first impression, uh, first impression via the handshake? Oh, that when you first my first day when I did that, one of the members of the court was Byron White, Justice White. And he's the only justice to have been an NFL football star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I put my hand out and he took it. And I thought I was going to die on the spot. <laughs> Just die. I'm, it was like I had put my hand in a vice uh. and I had a ring on this finger. Oh. And he just kept that pressure on I re and tears squirted out of my eyes. I couldn't help mm. it. And it was very embarrassing. Mm -hmm. My first day on the court Ooh. and there I am in yeah. tears. Now, could you, could you say anything to the guy? Well, I said, uh, uh, may I, <laughs> that hurts. Yeah. And anyway, I learned what to do. So I had to shake hands with him every time. Yeah. Give me your hand now. I grabbed his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> I could never give him my hand again. <laughs> what? Uh... He was so strong. You know, you know the highest court in the land. It's the basketball court on top of the courtroom. There is actually a basketball court above yeah, the chamber. Yeah, kind of, it's not full height, but mm -hmm. it's right above the courtroom. Right. And so Justice White liked to go out and play basketball with some of the law clerks mm -hmm. and stuff. And every single year, with a new bunch of clerks, first week, one of them would come down with a cast on. Mm. <laughs> I just... mean, Justice White was just stronger than anybody could believe. Banging him around. Oh. <laughs> yes. Guy could get sued doing that kind oh, of thing. Well. Take him to court, for heaven's sake. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, now, now um, you, you must have thoughts about the, uh, the most recent uh, uh, appointee or nominee, Sonia Sotomayor. Yes, I'm very happy that we're getting another woman mm -hmm. on the court. Yeah. Very. And she will, if she's confirmed, replace uh, David Souter, is that yes. correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he's uh, uh, leaving at a relatively younger age, isn't he? He is, and he's done a wonderful job. He's a delightful man, but uh, he's leaving, mm -hmm. and we're getting a new justice. Right. You know, it's interesting. Our nearest neighbor is Canada, and Canada has also a nine-member Supreme Court. Their chief justice is a woman, and four of the justices are female in Canada. Mm. And they manage pretty well. Yeah. Good. Um, I didn't realize this, that even once you have stepped down, you, st you still have legal responsibilities. What are those? Well, Congress has required that a retired justice sit on the lower federal courts, and I've been sitting with federal courts of appeal. Just Judge Sotomayor is a member of mm -hmm. a federal court of appeals, so it's that level court. And I've done a lot of it, and every year I have to write a certificate saying, I've done enough. <laughs> and I don't know what enough is, but I've done a lot. There, there's no time allocation required, not, it's just that you gotta do precise, something. It's not precise, but it's been a lot. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and you, uh, I know that uh, you, the, uh, growing up on a ranch, you, you love going out uh, west and spend a lot of time uh, fishing. Oh, I love to fish. I like to fly fish mm -hmm. when I can, and I try to go at least once a year to Montana and yeah catch a fish out there, yeah. or uh, two, or three, or whatever. <laughs> did you, no uh, limit. Did you ever uh, uh, shoot? I let him go. Catch and release. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, ca I catch and release also. I yeah. catch them, I cook them up, and then I release my oh. belt after a tasty <laughs> dinner. <laughs> um, uh, I don't want to embarrass you here, but a friend of mine told you told me one time that you uh, showed some folks how to shoot gophers. Well, I like to shoot gophers. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh -huh. They're kind of worthless things. Well, now, now, <laughs> we, your Honor, it's it's very difficult. It's a real it's a test of your ability because uh -huh. they're way out there and they stick their heads up about right. that far. <laughs> so you have to take 
Okay. Careful aim. All right. No, no more <laughs> questions, Your Honor. Okay. Um, okay. Well, it's nice to have you here. Thank you. Okay. This is the second uh, children's book. You must enjoy this a great deal. I would, I would guess it's a, it's a matter of recalling very pleasant times and yes. writing about them. Yeah. And it's called uh, Finding Susie. This is Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Have a lovely summer. Thank you. Okay.